push the hip forward just push it forward like that and then push it to one side and then push it to the other side and to the back and let the upper body be relaxed so you do circles with the hips and you relax the upper body let the upper body be very soft so you guide the energy with the hip and the upper body just becomes like a, a noodle <laughs> yeah very soft you just let it you just let gravity yeah so just kind of like unwind literally just kind of open the spine like that the hips are to the back the upper body is to the front the hips are to the left the upper body is to the right so on and so forth slowly and increase the range of motion see if you can make the move the circle with the hips bigger and then the upper body more relaxed let the upper body go let the spine open yeah it's like a back bend here right from the hip to the front it's like a back bend and then you discover the whole you're really massaging the vertebrae yeah especially the lumbar spine in a reverse direction yeah you should go slow so it usually makes you a little dizzy if you go too fast and slow you can really be connected with the body a little deeper so you can really see really see that you really relax the upper body really let go it looks like a very easy practice but really to master it is to understand relaxation at a deeper level yeah in your own body and then when the hip are to the back the body is to the front stay here and then when the knees slowly come up yeah nice how's this pretty nice huh oh feeling a little dizzy no i'm going to st <laughs> all right good let's push the hips forward and look back okay look back and open the clavicles relax the shoulders and then exhale hold both elbows and just kind of bounce like that inhale open Hold the seal vitality point behind the navel on the spine, both sides. Look back, relax. Exhale. Bounce a little bit here. And one more time. Inhale. Open. Relax the shoulders, open the chest. Exhale. Legs come up. Good. All right, let's open into Mabu, a little wider stand. <coughs> Everybody knows Mabu, horse stand. You can have it very wide or you whatever is feel comfortable to you. Inhale. Exhale. When you squat, you try to keep the knees open, yeah? Inhale. <coughs> the feet are parallel, if you can. Exhale. So the idea is that you keep the upper body very relaxed, yeah? Like a, you see like a, like feather. And then the lower body is so strong, yeah? Very strong legs, strong kidneys, strong legs. Relaxed emotional center. Yeah? You go with the spine erected, yeah? So the head stays up, the crown lifts. Yeah, and if you can, only if you can, you put the hands inside and you bounce a little bit here. Optional. Very nice to open the hips. <laughs> How do you get out? 
How do we get out of it? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Let me see if I can. <laughs> okay, how do we get out? <laughs> Just come out. And let's go a little wider stand if we can. And open the inner thigh, yeah? So just, uh, I think Lee does this too, right, sometimes? Yeah. He's still on the back burner right now. Yeah. <laughs> he's, a little, he's a little stingy with this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so stretch your the inner thigh. Keep the feet parallel. This, uh, this uh, uh, posture is called poo-boo. Yeah, drop stand like that. If you can. Poo-boo. Yeah. Nice. If you feel very strong, you hold one wrist. <laughs> nice. And then let's straighten the legs and forward fold. Yeah, breathe. Take a breath. Now the hands are away, the arms are away from the lungs. And really experience in, in uh, kind of opening the rib cage. Open, inhale, and see if you can inhale into the lower, the upper back, like a turtle breath. Since we're here, let's tap on the back of the legs a little bit, and the buttocks and the kidney, up and down, move the energy a little bit. Relax the hands down again to, uh, to the floor. Bend the knees and slowly come up. Inhale up. Exhale. Nice. Inhale up. Inhale is like you're expanding the heart energy to all direction. Exhale, receive the universe to the heart. Yeah, feeling the energy of your heart. Inhale, expand the chi from the heart, happy heart. Exhale, bring the world into your heart. One more time. Open the lungs and the heart. Receive the chi to the heart. Nice. And relax down. Let's go into gong bu. Yeah? Bow stand. <coughs> yeah, so it can be a very wide stand or it could be just uh, more. It depends on you. You change your practice for what you feel. And then we put the hands on the knee. And then you do circles like that. Yeah, it's a martial art practice, actually. Yeah, to stabilize the knee in different positions. Different position, you get strength through all the little muscle that holds the knee joint. Nowadays, <laughs> we mostly walk on s flat surfaces and not so much on the hills and all that, so we, we don't get to experience it. Just go, s go kind of carefully. <coughs> yeah, if you see martial artists, they do huge circles with the knee. Reverse direction. Yeah, so when you stretch to the edge of the circle, you feel the kind of the hip flexors open. Yeah, so you go like this. Here at the edge, this is open. And then straighten the front legs, clasping the hands, palm face on the knee, flat back, and then pulse like that. Yeah, so we are we're hinging from here, from the lump, from from where the you know, the femur bone like that, boom. So the f the back stays straight, and you're pulsing down. You feel the hamstring and the top of the leg stretch right here. You can get that there. Leg is straight, and then 
Relax that stretch and go to the other side. Gong Bu on the other side. <coughs> Let's first pulse a little bit so we open the hip flexor like that. Yeah. Nice, and then <coughs> circle the knee. Yeah, so the hands on the knee, stabilizing, and then big circle. Yeah, again, you can take it and do it for a longer time <coughs> and really find stability and uh, it's very good for knee issues. Also balancing is very good for knees. <coughs> All the rolling movements are really nice because they really, exp you experience the whole range <coughs> And then straighten the front leg, clasp, interlace the fingers, palm face down, flat back, and then hinge from where the leg connects into the sacrum. You can hinge from here and just pulse like that. Nice. Come out of it. How do we come out of it? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go gong bu to the other side. <coughs> Bring one palm up like this, and then the other palm also. Yeah, we flip the palm. Exhale. So flip the palm towards the ceiling, inhale. Look at the palm. Look, carry your gaze very slowly. Open the energy of the rib cage and the lung. Look into the palm throughout the movement. movement, slow breath, kind of getting a very nice, even, relaxed rhythm to the breath. Nice, relax both arms. Let's go to the other side. Is this okay for everybody? Yeah. <laughs> All right, <laughs> inhale. <laughs> I know. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, so I'm inhaling here. Long, long, long inhalation, inhale. And as you go in a straight line, you exhale. The movement is really slow, yeah? You want the breath to be slow. And you look into the palm throughout. And then bring the palms to the heart, turn, and relax down. Inhale up, connect to the sky above you, bring the sky to your heart, bring the sky to your heart, feel the sky in your heart. Inhale, bring the heart to the center of the brain, and exhale, Dantian. Let's do it again. Lift the earth. Yeah, like your arms are 200 miles long. Bring in the chi to the heart. Bring all the good into the heart. Inhale, share it with the center of the brain. Like you're drinking the love from the heart into the brain. 
and then exhale Dantian let your mind rest in the Dantian I want to teach you another movement is a little bit more involved but let's try it out I was kind of contemplating should I teach it because you really have to learn it but let's start it and see how you like it <coughs> it's building on this wave like motion and it really opens the whole body you'll see <coughs> so it starts in gongbu now you don't have to go very uh, very wide yeah you, uh, you can go just a, a bow stand basically <coughs> the hip facing the front always yeah so what we want to visualize is like you have a rope from the navel and on the exhalation it's like somebody push you down with the rope so it's like the spine is relaxed yeah and then as you go up somebody push you with the rope in the mingmen point behind the navel yeah it's like rope down so chin forward yeah wave the spine then up curl chin to the chest see so think about your mind is always here between these two points down and up yeah is that easy right now what you do is that you shift the weight between the front leg and the back leg sit back exhale so we're going to use this movement i'll show you the movement with the arm to clear three dantians i'll show you so first we just kind of get used to this one making the spine very flexible like a noodle like very very uh very soft yeah your mind keep in the navel okay good how's that very comfortable yeah it's like a flow very uh water-like movement <laughs> now the hands what do we do with the hands so the breath comes first Dantian follows so exhale Dantian goes down and the arms are the last elements to actually do the movement so when I go down first of all both hands on the side like Dantian level uh, hips uh, hips level and then as I exhale you can see first back of the hands meet here and an inhale it's like a back bend open exhale palms together inhale palms behind the back and then exhale clear the energy from the brain inhale clear any heaviness on the heart inhale Cleanse and clear, Dantian. And again. Inhale. Open the spine. Back bend. Look back. Exhale. Palms together. Let the whole body just rest down. Inhale. Lift through the Ming Men. The two ropes, what we said. Hit dash waypoint and clear any thoughts. Inhale, twist. Exhale, push. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Slow, let's go slower a little bit. Open. Let the spine be very soft, the breath very even and relaxed. Hit the joy point, exhale, release the energy from the brain. Twist, push. Inhale, push. Inhale back, turn to the front. How's that? Nice flow, right? 
It's a little hard, a little bit more, more um, yeah, we call it active Qigong. But it's a flow, it's still a flow. Still very nice. Let's do the other side. <coughs> How are we feeling about it? Good? Yeah. Everybody's like, I was hesitant. Yeah, nice. Okay, good. Not too hard. All right. Exhale. Lift the Ming Min upward. Let the spine wave open. Let the hand open. And the whole body open, the heart, the lungs. As you exhale, let the body fall to the front. Inhale, palms together. Hit the point behind the head, C7. Okay, cervical spine, vertebra number seven. And inhale, push, cleanse the heart. Inhale, connect with the digestive system, cleanse and clear. Let's do two more of those. like you're rising up. Start to feel the flow, the little delay between the Dantian movement and the arms movement. Dantian retreat, hand come, a little delay. And again, Dantian goes down, arms follow, a little bit later. So start to feel how the body works. Very meditative, very relaxed, yeah? Come to the center, turn to the front, and exhale down. Inhale up. Bring it to the heart. Lift the heart to the brain. Exhale down, Tian. Your mind follows the three Dantians, yeah, in this one. Here you connect with external chi, open the arms, lift the chi up. Connect to the heavens above you with all the goodness that life brings us, all the gifts. Bring it to your heart, appreciating all our needs are being met. Inhale, let the brain know that. And then exhale, bring the chi to the dantian and rest here for a few breaths. With your mind fixed on the point between the navel and the spine. Gathering all the energy from this practice into the Dantian, the elixir field. Smile into the digestive system. See it strong, radiant. A newborn digestive system. Open the hands to the side, palm facing the front, opening the eyes. Nice, cool.